Jessica and I'm a senior. My name is Pluto and I'm in 8th grade. My name is John and I'm in 12th grade. My name is Kayla and I'm in 7th grade. Hello, I am Gabriel and I am in 1st grade. Hello, my name is Antonio Ramon and I'm in 12th grade. My original idea for the light and sound project was to have a bunch of snakes slithering around eyeballs, but instead of snake skin it would be human teeth. But Mr. L thought that was a bit too ambitious, so I had to tweak that. And I ended up coming up with a bunch of other ideas, but eventually I came up with a storyboard that was just a wall full of teeth that had eyeballs inside of it. And I came up with that. The one I'm doing is uh, Pink Floyd coming back to life, which is kind of like the ending um, last song. So my original idea for the Light and Sound Festival was to kind of just have like... Uh, I was going to get water and have different drops and get it gradually to where it gets like chaotic near the end. And so at first it begins kind of soothing and then throughout it gets very chaotic. But after I found out that I'm, I, I'm in a shorter time frame than I had thought, I uh, chose to just make it more of a soothing project. And the way I did that was I recorded... Uh, me dropping water droplets into a bucket of water with xanthan gum to get thicker drops. And I went into After Effects and I made the video. I worked on two projects. One was a drawing that I created with a poem line and the other one was a story that all of seventh grade had to do. So I kind of made like, like, um, first I drew like a mountain and then... And then we used, and then, like, we colored it brown. And then we used some paint, like, red, orange, and yellow, and then, like, dabbed it on the mountain. So my original idea for the Light and Sound Festival project was a short Godzilla film. I accomplished this by um, doing some stop-motion animation of a few Godzilla figures that I had and then, like, blowing them up to make them look like they're really big. And then I also wrote up a little bit of a script that I performed with the video teacher, Mr. McCarthy. In order to create my project, I had to record and take pictures of everyone's teeth using my iPhone. And then using a Canon camera, I had to take recorded videos of everyone's eyeballs, but that was a bit difficult because I had to be able to keep their faces steady so I didn't have to, like, motion frame them and track their faces which was a bit of a issue but th that was my technologies and then i used photoshop and after effects um while creating my project i learned um definitely more about different genres of music pink floyd is definitely a little out there for me um i mainly focus on jazz and not so much um rock um but i think it was a great opportunity to learn some of the more um finer aspects of rock and um, just how I can put that all together with my knowledge of jazz and uh, perform. Uh, the main challenge that I faced was kind of like figuring out the 3D effect of the video. My video, my part of it was kind of, the video was here and the drops came up and it was very flat. And But there's also 3D aspects in the video so it's kind of out. So my main problem was figuring out how to place it and how to map the videos on the building to where to have that effect. So the things that I learned for the project was to listen to others and cooperate. What I learned about myself was that I need to listen to myself more and just feel it. Some challenges were that I kind of messed up with the mountain part. It, the paper was very small. One thing I learned from this project was that how to dab from a paintbrush with paint. Something that I learned about myself was that I can struggle, but I don't have to. So in order to create my project, I just used Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Audition, and then Audacity. And for the camera work, I just used um, one camera that is in the studio, and then I also used my cell phone. Challenges I ran into when creating the movie was probably, oh man, um, the figures jumping around and falling down or breaking whenever I would try to do the animation with them. There'd be a lot of times where I'd like try to move one of them, the arm on one of them, and it would just like fall off. 
and I'd have to turn on the onion skin layer setting to try to see if I could fix it. And also the video teacher, it took like about 50 takes with him to get the, the take right. But eventually we got it and everything was okay. Go to the Lion Sound Festival, it's gonna be the coolest thing you'll ever see. You should really go to the Lion Sound Festival because it's gonna be really fun.